just like to release the results uh -huh. release not release but remember we okay. say mm. please please can i do this yes. can you do this for me please yes. but in lease that s takes the voiceless sound so lease lease okay got it uh, moving on to another one, Willis. Now this one, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense today. I don't know if you watched that video of that Bungoma um, man, James Bond from Bungoma, you know, hanging onto the helicopter. Probably he should have had a parachute or parachute. That's another one that uh, I'm also not very sure about. <laughs> Betty, uh, this what many people say parachute. <laughs> locally you'll hear of parachute you know more often but yeah. what happens in mm -hmm. that word we have the c and h those two letters combine to form the sound sh so two letters combining to form one sound we always talk of a digraph so the digraph c and h form the sound sh so we mm -hmm. say parachute parachute okay. that would be a surprise yes but actually that is exactly the way we should pronounce that word parachute, parachute. not parachute not parachutes okay moving on to another word let me spell this one out again m-o-r-t-u-a-r-y how do we go about that one we've had this word especially uh, a lot this week talk to us about it uh casually or locally you'll hear of mortuary mortuary mm -hmm. i'm going to the mortuary mm. but that chuary is not there betty mm. yeah what we have is chari or in the american english you may hear somebody talking of mortuary but mm. it's normally mortuary okay. mortuary the mortuary uh -huh. not mortuary not mortuary uh -huh. which i can also you know you can hear in the australian or the american english okay so to answer your question betty we say mortuary all right okay looking at my tweets there's this has been too so many people asking me about this uh, word tyranny of numbers or tyranny of numbers we are going into the election period and i'm sure election not election election right uh, and i'm sure we'll be hearing about a lot um on this word talk to us about it uh, i beg your pardon betty Right. Uh, Willis, talk to us about this uh, word tyranny of numbers or tyranny of numbers. I've seen quite a m number of tweets coming in through uh, asking about that Betty, word specifically. That is a word that we have really, you know, focused on, uh, I would say, several times. But yeah. there is no harm. With knowledge, we can repeat some of these words. Yeah. Now, when we talk of tyranny, mm -hmm. locally, many people say tyranny with that diphthong, that is the glide. That vowel glide is not there you mm -hmm. say t not tie mm. tyranny but the person is a tyrant when you talk of a person uh -huh. you say so and so is a tyrant but okay. tyranny of numbers okay tyrannical uh -huh. tyrannize uh -huh. not tyrannize not tyrannical not you know we have to distinguish okay when we use the diphthong mm -hmm. and when we don't use the diphthong so for tyranny don't say tyranny. Okay. Got it, Willis. Just like a teacher. All right. Moving on. The last one before we get to our feedback question. Um, you hear so many people saying system or, you know, instead of system or is it supposed to be system? I'm not getting the word. We have some, you know, uh, technical problem there. But can I get mm -hmm. you right, Betty? Can you come up again? Yes, yes. Uh, Willis, do we say system or system? Oh, I now get you, Betty. Yeah. That word has two acceptable pronunciations, uh -huh. Betty. That uh -huh. is what we call now the alternative pronunciations. You can say system, team, oh. or tem. But that tem should have what we call assure. The weak vowel sound, e. Eh. System, system, system. But you can also say system. So system. the two pronunciations okay. are acceptable, just like I talked about dilemma and dilemma i also talked about finance and finance, finance. so alternatives mm -hmm. in that case okay interesting that's a surprise uh, that you could say system okay willis um, apart from that do you have any surprise uh, word for uh, friday briefing tonight <laughs> 
uh, but we've really struggled because of that cutoff. But uh, yeah. you know, technical problems uh, have to be understood. Yeah. Anyhow, I have the word here uh, from uh, the public request. Uh -huh. Now, somebody said we always talk of DAF. Mm -hmm. DAF when we see D O U G H. Many people say DAF. Mm. Then I ask the question. Then do we say DAF not? Then. <laughs> everybody you know <laughs> burst into laughter yeah anyway the word that i have tonight betty is dough dough the dough mm. then from dough we come to the donut yeah. donut i will donut. also you know present or uh, you know have my flashcard here for okay. you okay. we talk of donut 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 not mm -hmm. duff nut okay so the surprise word for tonight is dough uh -huh. And we have donut. donut. And when I come to confusing words, yeah. this may also be a very big surprise to many people. Uh -huh. Many people talk of the sword, uh -huh. sword, when mm -hmm. they are referring to the weapon, uh -huh. which is wrong. Sword, that is S W O R D, yeah. is not, and I repeat, is not sword. That W is silent. Uh -huh. You say a sword. He threatened so and so, or threatened so and so using a sword. 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 That is the lower word. <laughs> sword, not a sword. sword. When we talk of okay. an area of grass, yeah. an area of grass, we now say sword. That is sword. the upper word. Yeah. S W A R D. Sword. Okay. But weapon, a sword. A sword. sword. That now brings me to the end of all that I had in mind for tonight, Betty. Right. Thank you so much, Willis, the webmaster. Always a pleasure having you on the show, telling us and teaching us those uh, difficult and sometimes confusing English words. I like that surprise word, sod, and not sword. Um, Willis, the webmaster there, joining us from Kisumu County with those uh, difficult words uh, like sod and not sword, sod. Right, that has been Mind Your Language coming up shortly now is uh, Moses Wahisi with the Sports News.